Yes, yes, I am. And I have some deliciousness in my hand. This oh, is the PB&J oh. pizza. I know you guys are very much interested in that. Mm -hmm. Perfect thing for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I think. It's a classic. I know. I heard somebody go, what? You're all about it. So there's also plenty here uh, for you guys to choose from. If you're wondering how much, please take a look up at this menu. They can have here at Grist Beer Hall up to 50 different beers on tap. And they're pretty, pretty close today already. And it's amazing because they've only been open for about two days. Congratulations, Heather. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about the name, Grist Beer Hall. So Grist is basically the grains when you grind grains to make beer to brew. Um, the base grain is called the Grist. So it's kind of the start of something new. So that's kind of the idea behind the name for us. And that's why our logo has a pigeon in it because lo uh, pigeons eat grains, so yeah. Very nice, so what I also love about this space is it's so big, and we're talking about a big factor in that, I think, is you're talking about you guys, when you're thinking of building a restaurant, wanted something to be family friendly. Definitely, um, for us, that's a big deal. We have little kids, and we love to go out and drink craft beer and eat good food. We want it to be a place where people can just feel laid back, relaxed, have a good bite to eat, have a nice beer, and let the kids just play and enjoy themselves. Now, something else, I feel like I keep saying something else is neat, something else is neat, but it is. It's a brand new space. I wanted to mention this pigeon on the wall. It's yes. a beautiful work of art by a local artist, and there's something neat about that particular wall. So the wall is a rotating mural wall. Um, basically, every six months or so, we're going to have it changed out um, so that we can feature another new local artist. Um, we definitely want to promote local arts in Sacramento. We think there's a lot of um, great artists out here that we really want to promote and support. So that one is done by an artist named Rafael Delgado. He also did the bear for the Sac Republic. Um, and we're really happy with what he came out with. It's oh my really goodness. Cool. There's just so much to talk about. Big space, big things to talk about. Before we go, of course, you guys are taking part clearly in Sac Beer Week. Yes. You guys actually have a special event that's happening tonight. Yes, we have a San Diego brewery coming um, called Modern Times. Um, we're featuring five of their kind of hard to find sought after beers. Um, we're going to do some seafood pairings with that because it's San Diego and seafood. We thought that would be a fun way to kind of pair them. So yeah, I excited. love it. So we didn't get around to all the din dinner or uh, items that you guys have on your menu, but I find that the best way to do that and see if you like something is you just come on down and you taste it yourself, right? But let me tell you guys that pizza, thanks guys, didn't save one for me or Terry. It is all gone. <laughs> no it is kidding. all gone and it is delicious. So you guys have to come on down, try that yourself and stay with us because this uh, event, you know, Sack Beer Week is happening all over the Palladio in the next hour. We're going to hang out with the folks over the Barnes & Noble because they have a restaurant there and they have a whole menu lined up just for the event as well. Outstanding. Send it back to you guys. Great. Thanks, Nat. Celebrating Beer Week this week. Sounds good.